Hello friends. Today we're going to learn how to use Excel Solver to solve a cost minimization balance assignment problem. For this we take a very small example which consists of five jobs which are to be processed in five different machines. The number over here represents the cost of assigning this job to these machines. For example, 15 over here is representing the cost of assigning the second job to the third machine and similarly the other numbers. Now before we actually go to the solver and solve this problem, let us, try, let us first try to understand how we formulate this assignment problem in the form of a linear programming formulations. Now, this is where I'm trying to, uh, this is where I'm trying to explain how this formulation is done. CIG and XIG are notation that I'm using over here, where CIG is denoting the cost of assigning the Z job to the I machine. XIG are the additions variables, which will have only two values, one and zero. One when the I job is assigned to the Z machine, zero otherwise. Now, as we all know in the assignment problem, every machine is allowed to do only one job and every job is to be assigned to only one machine. And hence, if you sum up this addition variable over each row, it should be equal to 1 and the same applies to uh, the sum of these variables over the column. The sum of each, the sum of this variable over each column should also be exactly equal to 1 and hence the row constraints and the column constraint. Since we have five rows, we should have five row constraints five columns and five column constraints. Uh, the objective of the assignment problem should be the minimizations of doing the minimization of the total cost of doing all these jobs in the five machines that you have, in the five different machines that you have. So this is the objective function. These are the constraints. This is conditions of the variable. And this together constitute a linear programming problem for a linear programming problem formulations. In fact, this is not only linear programming formulation, but this is a linear integer programming formulations where the variables are allowed to have either one or zero. Now next, let us try to understand how this linear uh, assignment problem is a particular case of a transportation problem. Now these are the five rows that you have. Assuming this as the various supply points. Now we uh, we put uh, we put uh, one to each of the supply point as its availability, and similarly assuming this as the various demand center with uh, one unit demanded is of the centers. If you look at the, if you look into this table, this resembles a transportation problem, a balanced transportation problem wherein every supply point is uh, having one unit is at every demand center only one units are demanded. Now let's come back to the original problem and try to solve it. Now this was the original problem that you have. Now let's create a solution space over here. So this color portions is where the <coughs> values of the Various values of the distance variables are going to come. This is the space for x11 and this is the space for x12 and so on. Finally, this will be the space for x55. Now, let us try to insert the formulas for finding out the distance variable. Now, uh, on the left hand side, what we'll do is we'll put the uh, sum of the variables over here, the values of the variables over here. Uh, apply the formula to the remaining, uh, remaining rows. The relations will be equality. Equality. On the right hand side, we put the values. All val on the right hand side, values all equals to one. Now let us do the same for the column. Again, for the column, the sum should be equals to one. Because the sum of the variables over the column was equals to one, the sum of the variables, the sum of the variables of the columns was equal to one, and so we put one to all the columns right hand side values. We apply the formulas to the remaining columns also. The relation will be equality. 
now let us create a cell for the value of the total cost total minimum cost so let me say total cost and say i'm creating the cell over here this will be the sum product of the cost matrix and the solution space that we have created right then done so we have created all the formulas now we are in a position to go to the solver and find out the solution now let's go to the solver let's go to the solver and find out the solutions so data solver now select the uh, cell where the total cost should come the objective is minimization by changing the uh, by changing the word solute uh, the um, solution space at the constraints then we add the row constraints the left hand side value should be equals to the right hand side value eight now the column constraints the left hand side values of the column constraints the relation again is equality the right hand side values of the column constraints okay select the uh, uh, select the um, uh, non-negativity conditions then come over here you select the simplex click solve now you have the answer the, uh, the total minimum cost is 48 the assignment that we have we are finding out from here is m1 is assigned to m1 is assigned to uh, g5 is assigned to m1 and uh, so let's write it in the order. So that g5 g5 assigned to m1 g2 is assigned to m2 g2 is assigned to m2 you can see it from here g2 to m2 and then c3 is assigned to m3 and then j4 is assigned to no j1 not j4 j1 is assigned to j1 j1 is assigned to m4 I think I'm making a mistake over here. Let me do it again. Uh, let me do it again. Uh, this is uh, J1 is assigned to M4. J1 is assigned to M4. Then J2 is assigned to M2. Then J3 is assigned to M3. Then J4 is assigned to M5. And J5 is assigned to M1. This is the optimum assignment that we have. And uh, the total cost of, the total minimum cost of having this assignment is 45. And thank you.